Welcome to a special edition of Sports Path. I'm Zach Halverson. You might remember me from when I hosted this show not too long ago, and it is good to be back, if only for today, when we welcome a couple of very important guests into the studio. For the first time in seven years, White Bear Lake Area High School is getting a new activities director as Tim Herman is moving on to retirement. In a moment, we'll talk to Tim about his career, and after that, we'll welcome the incoming AD, Brian Peliquin, into the studio to learn more about him and what he plans to bring to White Bear Lake. Sports Path starts now on SCC Community. Ground ball, finds the hole up the middle. Steps up, goes deep, left side, receiver, open, counted, touchdown, Titans! Takes a dice shot outside the goal box, and he will break the 0-0 zero, zero tie. Fantastic shot by Kenloff Solon. Giller makes a move, a good one, opportunity here, the Bears score! The Bears strike first. He's at the 40, he's down to the 30, the 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Jalen. Why not? What a beautiful run. Maureen there. Fights her off the puck. Opportunity here. Another sit. And a goal! Second chance effort for the Pioneers. Put the icing on the cake, if you will, Michael. Go down and got to the outside and said good evening and good night. Welcome into the Sports Path studio. Once again, I'm Zach Calverson here to talk with the outgoing and incoming activity directors at White Bear Lake High School. First, we are pleased to have us here in the studio, Tim Herman, the outgoing activities director. And uh, Tim, first of all, thank you uh, for, for taking some time with us as uh, you make your way slowly out that door. <laughs> My pleasure. There's still a few things to do. Girls golf, boys golf, a couple of meetings here and there, but by Friday, I'll be pretty much done. Seven years at White Bear, and uh, it's been a heck of a ride. You've had uh, a lot of success along the way. Uh, any favorite memories uh, from your time here? You know, I, I knew that that might be one of the questions that you <laughs> ask, and I was kind of thinking back on things. And, you know, I will say that the first year here was a, a pretty hectic uh, winter, especially, mm -hmm. where we had boys hockey in the state tournament, wrestling in the state tournament as a team. We had uh, girls basketball in the state tournament. We had a ton of stuff going on, and it was... Uh, pretty interesting uh, way to kind of be initiated into things. I would, you know, the thing about favorite um, times at White Bear, and it, it's the same wherever I've been, I think really the, the key for me is uh, watching kids develop and watching them take the teaching they've gotten from advisors or coaches, directors, teachers, and then all of a sudden something goes well for them and they kind of get that, that uh, light bulb goes on and, and it's really kind of cool for all of us as teachers, coaches, and advisors to see that happen. Let's go back seven years. You came into this job and it was the, the, the kind of the, the description kind of changed a little bit from your, pre, your predecessor, yep. Bob Jackson. Yep. It was a, almost a new position at the time, if I'm correct, and it, it, the responsibilities were, were, were pretty, pretty large. Right, they uh, really were making a big change in, in how we viewed uh, activities. Uh, Bob had a job where he was a uh, athletic director, uh, he was a part-time teacher, he was a coach, and, and that was a whole different dynamic. And when I came here, they wanted to make sure that all of the activities, the clubs, the organizations, and then the high school league activities could all be in kind of one realm and under one umbrella. So that was a, it was a big change, and I think it was a big change for a lot of the people that were advisors and directors of clubs and organizations because they'd never really had um, real structure in their program or, or someone to oversee them and to kind of help them out in, in situations. So uh, it was a big change and I will say that I think during the seven years we've developed a, a really great culture, a culture that focuses on our kids and, and the development of not only their strengths and their activities but their character strength as people and I think that those things will uh, hopefully carry on in the new uh, with the new athletic or excuse me activities director and Brian Peliquin. 
What uh, what was the learning process like? Because obviously, I mean, 60 different teams and clubs and all that, you probably weren't well versed in, in all of that. What was it like to, to learn about all these other places that maybe you weren't a, a part of in, in your life? Well, the good news for me was, I, number one, in, in Austin, I had been an activities director. Mm -hmm. And so, and they had plenty of uh, different activities that, that I needed to to grow in and, and grow in my knowledge about. So that when I came to White Bear, uh, it was a lot easier for me. The good news for me is not only was I a coach for 38 years, but I also directed plays and I had been a, a junior class prom advisor. I, I had uh, been in the band and my I had great ties with music and theater. So it, it helped me have some pretty instant rapport with all the different people that were that were in uh, our activities department and that was helpful for me. So you came here from Austin where you were you were a, a AD, you were also a, a football coach yep. down there. Yep. Uh, so you had a little bit less responsibility at least from the, the coaching side but obviously uh, you know such a large school district and White Bear as well that you had you still had plenty of of uh, stuff to, to do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, was, it, uh, was it tough giving up the, the coaching side of things? Well I think I uh, Coming here was kind of the right thing for me to do and just concentrating on the activities director part of my job. I loved coaching, coach for 38 years, but there are times when you finally figure out, okay, it's time to do something a little different. So it was fun for me to come to White Bear um, and back to a, a town that really had supported and served me and my wife and to spend my last seven years uh, serving the community and the people that really helped me grow as a young person. And, and let's talk about that, that pride that you do have for White Bear. I mean, you, you graduated from here in 1969, <laughs> and uh, just a little bit, of, a little while ago. But uh, you, what, what is, the, what is, you, what do you take here in this community? What, what do you, what do you love about White Bear Lake? Well, I, let me say this first: that that being a, a White Bear athlete really gave me some connection with all of the people that that were involved in in sports here. And so I really think it was good for me to have that background. Um, and also because I was a band member and because I was in certain other things, it was good for me to have those connections when I grew up so that now when I was as an activities director, I could really make some um, impact in, in those uh, environments as well. So, you know, being a White Bear person, there's, I mean, we talk about Go Bears and, and all of that stuff. And p some people from the outside might think we're kind of crazy, but that's, I grew up with that back in the 60s. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's been important for, for our community to be able to rally around uh, the Bears and our high school activities and our high school athletics specifically. And I think the thing about it too is back when I was uh, going to school, White Bear Lake was really the prime source of uh, all our students. There weren't very many people. Hugo was barely here. Mm -hmm. And now it's uh, several different communities and, and I think that it's, uh, it's been a really kind of a rich tradition of collaboration with all those communities to make great things happen in our high school. So during your tenure here now as AD, you started off, it was, you had to do something that hadn't been done in a while here at White Bear. You had to hire a, a new football coach. You, you, you picked up Ryan <coughs> Bartlett. Uh, what was the process like, you know, once Bob Jackson decided to move on and then having to, uh, to do that process uh, pretty, pretty pretty early on? Well, you're testing my memory a little bit, but um, <laughs> Now, it was, a, it was an exciting time for us. We had a lot of different people involved. We had a lot of uh, very good interest. And, and it, the fun part for me was to have different voices at the table uh, and to be able to listen to their perspective on what our new coach, <clears throat> excuse me, what our new coach should be like, how he should relate with kids and parents. And it was really a, a pretty enlightening conversation that we had. And we, it's, we spent... A uh, couple of weeks, actually more than a couple of weeks, uh, making the decision. But I think we made a good one. And you talk about the decisions as well, and, and then that culture that you have to establish here with all these new people. Where does that culture come from? Is it is it from you? Is it from the the, the everybody kind of coming together? Well, I don't I don't think anything that that happens that's very good happens by one person doing it. I think it's a, always a collaborative effort. And and I think one of the things that really I got involved with when I was here at White Bear was the high school league and their inside out coaching and the Why We Play initiative. And really, uh, it's given veteran people a, a chance to really get a framework for why they do what they do, and, and in this particular case, why we coach. I really think that uh, it's helped us understand that um, 
high school athletics is about growth of the student, not necessarily just growth as an activity person and in your sport, whether it's skating or, or shooting or whatever it happens to be, um, but it's also their growth as a, as a character strong individual. I think that that's part of our culture. The other part is we really believe firmly that um, high school athletics is about putting together great relationships, to have great relationships with with kids, with parents, with their assistant coaches as a head coach. And when you get, when you work hard to, to put together that positive relationship, then slowly but surely you gain their trust. And when you gain their trust, you gain their commitment to your program. So really, as I was, a, a, as through my a time as an activities director here, that was my focus, to build relationships with our coaches, with our parents, with our student activity or student participants and then from there kind of help them understand that we play because we love to have fun, we love to compete and we want to grow as in our sport and as, a, as character strong people. Talking with Tim Herman, the activities director at White Bear Lake for now, not uh, just a few weeks away. Yeah, four days. Four days away <laughs> from uh, the retirement and also in addition to the culture that you, you helped uh, foster at White Bear. You also brought some uh, new infrastructure in, at least with the uh, the football field, the, the <laughs> turf. But from what I understand, that, that turf uh, field w was strongly, I guess, kind of, I guess the foundation was put in uh, by Bob Jackson, is what I understand. Oh, yeah. Well, we uh, when I came, our, our the first uh, discussion that I was involved in was not the first discussion about putting artificial surfaces in the stadium. It, there had been one or two before that. Mm -hmm. I, I really give great credit to uh, our new superintendent, Wayne Kazmierczak. He really was, I think, the driving force after he had heard what we wanted to do. I mean, he really did a great job of figuring out a way that it could get done. There's been some great things done in the last few years, not just the stadium turf, uh, but new lights, new sound system, new press box mm -hmm. in, the, in the stadium. Thank you. Uh, you bet. Uh, also, you know, a new floor in the in the South Gym for basketball mm -hmm. and and the other things, volleyball that go on in there. So th uh, he has a he has a good vision for what we need facility wise. There's still a long way to go. I mean, we've talked about uh, another track, maybe a field house. We need more gym space, and we need another. Uh, the, we talked about track. Uh, I just really think uh, that's important. And you know, one of the ongoing discussions that we're having right now is where do we fit with with hockey in our teams and mm -hmm. you know what do we want to do i know white bear is looking to see if they can work on their complex to make that something that would be desirable to be in we, you know and, and vadness is working a different plan for where they see us so that's a that's something that's coming up that's going to have to be dealt with as well and uh, yeah so plenty of stuff for uh, mr uh, peliquin <laughs> there's no to, doubt about to that have to deal with we'll take a break uh, when we come back we'll talk a little bit more about that transition uh, with Brian Pelliquin, the brand new uh, activities director coming in to replace the big shoes of <laughs> Tim Herman. When we come back, more uh, with Tim Herman after this here on Sports Path. It's the most natural thing for me to dance, but I was tripping and I was falling and didn't even know what multiple sclerosis was. When I perform, I really love connecting with people. It's definitely cool to be able to give someone an experience through virtual reality. Oh my God. I dream sometimes and I see that. Welcome back to Sports Path here with the outgoing activity director, Tim Herman. A little bit later, we're going to talk to the incoming AD at White Bear Lake, Brian Pelliquin. And uh, Tim, we're just talking about kind of the, the, the life of uh, the AD. And, and Brian Pelican coming in now, he hasn't been an activities director yet. He's got some stuff to learn and, you know, I guess maybe have you had conversations with him initially here? Have you been able to, to help him a little bit here in the, the beginning stages? Yep, we uh, actually met at the uh, Minnesota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association Conference. It's a long <laughs> acronym, but... Um, and we talked there. That was back in March, and then uh, we, we've spent about a, we've spent some time uh, in uh, the end of May talking a little bit about what's going on. And he came in not too long ago again. And each time we kind of talk about different things. But in reality, it's one of those jobs where 
you just have to kind of jump in. I, I, I bet there isn't any activities director anywhere that got a book that said, here's what you do. I mean, every place might be a little different, but in reality, I think activities directors, wherever they are, kind of have the same uh, kind of uh, issues, concerns, things that they have to deal with uh, on a daily basis, as well as every once in a while, you know, those big issues come up. But I just think it's one of those things where Brian's going to have to, uh, and he's talked a little bit about just sitting in and, and kind of watching what's going on to begin with to get a feel for stuff and then starting to make uh, that activities program uh, reflect his values. Mm -hmm. and hopefully, hopefully the values that we've put together as coaches and advisors and directors within our department are things that he's going to be real comfortable with. Um, it, you really want to make sure that the transition is smooth and uh, you know we've I think that we've really worked hard as a department to um, let people know this is how we operate and these are the values that we have and this is how we we back those values up so um, I'm hoping that it's an easy transition for Brian. Uh, I think the hard part will be the volume of work mm -hmm and the different types of, of uh, work that you do every day. Uh, it, and it really hugely revolves around communication. Communication with parents, communication with officials and other schools and other ADs and coaches. It, you, you just can't imagine how much time is spent as an activities director um, trying to communicate certain types of things to certain people. Mm -hmm, totally. And you, you talked about you know what what the, the hours that it it, it takes uh, going from just the regular day to day stuff in the office in the afternoon to to having to go out to to these games at night and, and just I guess my question for you is what wh how are you going to adjust to basically having a all day job almost <laughs> to now to being a, to, to basically nothing is that going uh, to be a bit of a shock or? I don't know probably so <laughs> but you know we've. We're, my wife and I are moving out to uh, the foothills of the Rockies outside mm. of Boise, Idaho. And uh, it's a great place for biking and hiking and, and fishing and, and playing golf and uh, all of those things that we want to do together. So uh, my wife's been out there since October. Um, I've only been out there a couple of times and I'd really like to get back out there and just kind of enjoy the experience. I certainly, I'm going to wake up and be, it's going to be odd for me not to have 55 emails when I wake up in the morning to, to answer or do things with or it'll be strange for me not to have a have an issue about something to work on mm -hmm. um, but you know what that's okay I'm looking forward to something different and this will be definitely different but fun. Uh, what are you most proud of from your, your seven years at White Bear Lake? Well you know, I don't it, I don't want to say that I'm proud of this I just I, I guess before like I said uh, things happen because peop, good people collaborate to have good things happen. And my, I guess I feel really fortunate to have worked with a great group of coaches, advisors, directors that, that have kids as the center of what they do. And, and I said that before, but I really truly believe it. And I, that, I can look back and say, boy, our music department, what a great mm -hmm. department with people that care, that people are their professional. You know, and I can say that about almost everything. I, I really feel like uh, we talked about this early on when I when I worked with coaches and directors that I think that you have to have a great passion for what you do. And if I look at the people that are in charge of our activities, I see people with a great passion for the things that they do. And I also thought that it's important to, to have not only have that base of knowledge, but to gain knowledge as you grow as a activities director or as a activities uh, person, whether it's a coach, a director, an advisor, I think it's important for everyone to keep growing in that knowledge that they have. Uh, we talked about being great listeners, being clear communicators, and having empathy for the situations that are there and empathy for people that are in those situations. So what I'm proud of is looking at that group of people that work in the activities department and say, why they've they've got it. So is that uh, Twitter handle at Go WBL Bears? Does that stick with the job? Or you I think it sticks with. The, I think it sticks with the job. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I, you know, that's funny. I'm I'm kind of old school and kind of a little bit of a dinosaur when it comes to uh, um, social media things. And somebody got me going on that. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure who it was, but it was kind of fun and it developed into not just a, a platform for hey we got a game tonight mm -hmm. that kind of thing, but it it helped me 
give out little details of things that maybe will make you a better player, maybe it'll make mm -hmm. you a better leader, maybe it'll make, make you a better coach or a parent or whatever it happens to be. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I really think that that is kind of part of my job to help people be better in their jobs. Well, uh, Tim, thank you very much for, for everything. We're trying to call you Tim. I called you <laughs> Mr. Herman pretty much my whole life. But uh, thank you for everything you've done for White Bear. Thank you for everything you've done here. I know we, you called a, a wrestling match not too long ago <laughs> yeah. for us, so we appreciate all your I help there. didn't and do a great job on that, but we survived. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, again, thank you for everything. And, and you've done a great job at White Bear. You left a, a heck of a legacy and, and have a phenomenal retirement down in I Idaho. appreciate it. It's been, a, it's been a great seven years. Thank you very much. Tim Herman uh, joining us here on Sports Path. When we come back, the new AD for White Bear Lake, uh, Brian Pelliquin, will be coming into the studio next to talk with us. Thanks for tuning in. We'll uh, see you to, after this. We see stories of fear, despair, and poverty, but they can end with courage, hope, and love. With you, be a part of writing a story that's greater than poverty. Learn how at worldvision.org. Welcome back to Sports Path. Now joined with the incoming activities director at White Bear Lake, Brian Pelliquin. Brian, first of all, thanks for stopping by and uh, welcome to the uh, community of White Bear Lake. Thanks for having me. So I guess I'll start off with uh, what does the community of White Bear Lake mean to you now coming in? What have you noticed now that you're, you're brand new here in this, this town? Well, even before I, I got the job for many years in, in coaching multiple sports, I've, I've been in the community and I've visited, visited the high school and the campus and recognized the pride in the community even from things as simple as the Bears and the, <laughs> you know, my team. We used to kind of joke about you know, counting how many people had Bears in their front lawn and you look back on that and realize that that's just a sense of community and, and how strong the ties are to the school. Um, and, and just continuing to realize that with, with my interactions with the people is that sense of pride dating way back to people I'm meeting on the street somewhere. Hey, you're the new AD. And I'm like, I don't even know you or how do you know me? But <laughs> it, clearly you've got a, a, a stake in what's going on here. So, so let's uh, learn a little bit about you. You, you uh, went, were, grew up in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Yeah. And uh, I guess tell us about your, your times growing up in high school. Yeah, so I, I'm originally from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, participated in lots of things while I was in school. I was a three-sport athlete. I was on the math team. I'm kind of a math nerd. I got started out as a math teacher. Um, I was in show choir, involved in the theater. So I've, I've kind of had a well-rounded upbringing in school and went to school down in college at Winona State University and met my wife down there. Mm -hmm. And we moved to the cities and got my first teaching job at Irondale and have been there ever since in that district. So what kind of activities, sports, what, what, you, uh, what were you doing there as, as you grew up in, in Chippewa Falls? Um, I, I played soccer, basketball, and baseball all the way through high school. Um, and like I said, I did the show choir and, and was also on the math team. Hmm. So uh, what kind of, what did you learn from that? And does that help you now as, as an adult? Uh, what kind of lessons do you learn from, from doing those activities? You know, I just think the importance of co-curricular activities mm -hmm. in general as it pertains to a, a student's and, and my own personal growth as a person with leadership, commitment, time commitment, working together, teamwork, are all things that I think are important for everybody. And I think it's important to, to be able to use those things and to connect to the building. So you spent some time at Irondale. Now yep. you're coming over from a, a conference rival of White Bear Lake, yep. at least in football, especially uh, Mounds View. Uh, you were the dean of students. What were your responsibilities there? I was uh, responsible for 280 families uh, mm -hmm. were on my caseload. And I was everything from writing letters of recommendation, helping them through social and mental issues that happen with, with high school students as they're growing as individuals to uh, you know, dealing with some discipline. And so it's kind of a, a, a one-stop shop where families came to us for anything and everything. It's a slightly different role than your standard counselor. Um, and so I'm just working with those families and kind of being a bridge between the families, the school, the district, the administration, teachers. So obviously that those skills that you got there can help a lot when you come, you know, go from the families on the families you had now to now you have over what 60 yeah. activities, sports, all that. Yeah, it, and just being able to balance that, mm -hmm. you know, that job was you never knew what was going to happen when you walked into the job that day and I think being able to balance those things and be able to act quickly on my feet and decisively will very much help me with my new job. So being in the conference though, you are kind of familiar <laughs> a little bit. Have you have you interacted much with with White Bear Lake coaches or or any of the activity people? Yeah, actually due, due to my own coaching um, 
I actually had I, I've coached alongside the head baseball or the head football coach here, Coach Baseball, oh, really? under okay. me at Irondale. The head gymnastics coach coached under me at Irondale. My wife and I were gymnastics coaches at Irondale, mm -hmm. and so I, I already had those connections, and so it's been it's been nice to lean on them to kind of get a grasp of, of what's going on and how things are going here. Talking with the incoming activity director uh, Brian Pelliquin coming to White Bear Lake uh, next year, and you're replacing Tim Herman, who's been there for seven yeah. years. Uh, your thoughts on, on Tim and, and you know, filling those those shoes of his? Big shoes to fill. Yeah. Obviously, he's he's been there and he's got a history there, and he has been absolutely fabulous in this transition. And and I know when you're you're on the outs and somebody else is replacing you, it's easy to just walk away and say let them figure it out. And he has not been that at all. He has definitely. We've been talking since the pretty much the day that I accepted the job. Uh, he's been sending me emails. I've come over and met with him a few times and just talked about kind of what are the most pressing issues and things to work on. And he's given me his contact information and looking forward to, to continuing to hopefully get his help even though he's going to be out of the state. What are some of those questions? Though? What are some of those uh, concerns as you go into this new job that, that you're going to ask and, and, and hopefully get some help from him? About? Well, just, just working with maintaining uh, such a large staff of people when you look at the advisors, you look at head coaches, you look at assistant coaches, you know, when you're just looking at even the adults that will be working with me and under me, you know, that's a that's a, a 150, 180 people. And then the students is just being able to to run the day to day operations, working on philosophies, which I think ours match up with regarding making sure that the students are, are getting an education. And it's very education based. Yes, we want to win and be competitive, but big picture, it's about growing. And so just working through those things everything I've asked he's had the same answer that I was hoping he would have uh, with regards to being on the same page and and looking at how we can continue to move forward and keep things going in the right direction because that's where they are right now and I imagine it's a little different too that the challenges that you're gonna face with the the split campuses north and south campus kind of those little things that you really haven't had to deal with in, in other schools but now when you come to White Bear it's a, it's a little different setup yeah just different nuances with with having kids at different buildings and going back and forth and having two office spaces and having two administrative assistants and making sure I know who's in charge of what whether it's me my administration administrative assistant at the north campus the south campus and making sure that that transition is fluid and we continue working as effectively as they currently are and speaking of that transition it's not just the AD position that's kind of being changed here white bear they got a new superintendent coming in uh, I understand that uh, principal Tim Wald is is going on to other other uh, uh, adventures so I guess not only do you have that to deal with, now you have new people to deal with above you and next mm -hmm. to you. Uh, is it is it made a little bit harder on, on the whole transition or is it just kind of like it's, going it's been, with the flow? It's been really interesting, um, you know, trying to go with the flow and, and obviously Tim was was really integral in working with me to, to get me to White Bear and, and I interviewed with him. We had lots of conversations about the job and so you know, I, I accepted the job under the assumption that I would be working alongside him, and so. I, but it's it's a great thing, and it's a great move for him to move up, and I'm looking forward to working with whomever it is that replaces him. So uh, you have your office at South Campus. You'll be in charge of all these uh, students, all these yeah. activities, and all that. What are you looking forward to most when it comes to this new job? I am looking forward to the new set of challenges. I feel like in, in my own job, I got really comfortable in the same district for 13 years. Uh, working in my last job for this for the last five, it got really comfortable. And so I'm looking forward to the new challenges, new staff, new students, new groups of people, new mm -hmm. problems, and, and just you know being able to take on those challenges and, and something new and working with the, the students and staff at White Bear Lake. A new wardrobe too. I mean, you got, you got the, bear, <laughs> yeah. the bear shirt already, but I'm, assu I'm assuming your closet is, is pretty green right now. I'm gonna have to change that to orange. Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to my third <laughs> color. You know, I, I still have some, some maroon and gold being a head coach of multiple sports there. I've, I've over eight years have lots of maroon and gold and switching to green and now I'm now I'm definitely going orange and and I've started thankfully a collection already so Tim's helped me out with that. You uh, moving into the town or you kind of staying over where you are? Um, I, my my wife still works in the district okay. my kids are in the district uh, we just bought a house last spring oh, okay. so uh, we're gonna stay there for a while but it's it's nice and close and I'm not looking forward. Yeah. No not at all and 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 my wife's been a head coach for several sports for several years and my kids have grown up being involved and so We'll, we're still close enough. They'll definitely be here. You'll see them around. Well, Brian, uh, thank you very much for yeah. the time. Good luck. Definitely. And, uh, and, and we'll be, uh, uh, certainly, this will not be the uh, only time we'll be talking right. to you. We'll be uh, keeping in touch with you and, and everything you do. And, and good luck with the new job. And uh, we'll, we'll be uh, looking forward to seeing you out there at uh, White Bear High School. All right. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Brian Pelequin uh, here, the uh, new AD at uh, White Bear Lake Area High School, joining us on Sports Path. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks to Tim Herman and everybody else here for joining us. I'm Zach Halverson saying so long. Have a great summer. We will be back next fall with all new editions of Sports Path.